While the pandemic has slowed down production on Creep Show Season 2, they still managed to whittle together an animated Halloween special, which I reviewed a while back, as well as the subject of this review, a Creep Show holiday special. Welcome back to ML Miller Frights, a part of the Kings of Horror Network. I'm ML Miller. While you might be watching this video on the Kings of Horror Network, I urge you to click over to my ML Miller Frights page and give it a like, share with your buddies across the electronic superhighway, click subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. A creep show holiday special, entitled Shapeshifters Anonymous, was directed by Greg Nicotero and written by J.A. Conrath. It's new streaming on Shudder. After experiencing blackouts and strange things showing up in his poo, a schlub named Weston, played by Adam Pally, shows up at a secret meeting called Shapeshifters Anonymous. While he is hesitant to join the meeting, Weston is desperate and believes that at night he is turning into a werewolf. At the meeting, he meets people claiming to be a were-cheetah, played by Anna Camp, a were-boar, a were-turtle, and a few others afflicted with the curse of turning into a monster when the moon is full. Weston isn't buying it, as he doesn't even know if he is turning into a werewolf or simply losing his mind. The more he stays in the group, the more he realizes that not only might his suspicions be true, but also a group of Santa's helpers are on the move, fulfilling their lifelong goal of wiping were-creatures off the face of the earth. This posse is led by Chris Kringle himself, played by Tom Glynn, and it leads to a standoff where the were-monsters take on an army of angry Santa Clauses. So yes, this episode is goofy as hell. There's not much by way of scares to be had, unfortunately. This one is all about mixing Christmas with horror, special effects, and a heavy dollop of humor. On the good list, if you're looking at this episode, it does offer up some clever twists on the traditional Santa Claus mythos. The way Chris Kringle's M.O. and all of the holiday cheer is pretzeled into an oath to track down and kill were-monsters is pretty fun, I gotta admit. I won't ruin all the details, but it really seems like some thought was put into tying the history of Santa and the were-creatures together. Being helmed by one of the best horror effects artists in the industry, of course, there's going to be a spotlight on special effects sequences, and this episode delivers pretty solidly, as there are quite a few transformation sequences, full body costumes for the monsters, and even an awesome final boss design with Kringle, who of course has long, sharp Santa Claus. All of the creep show episodes deliver in that special effects category, and this one fits right in nicely. That leaves the humor, and unfortunately, while there are some talented people with experience in comedy, specifically Pitch Perfect's Anna Camp and The Mindy Project's Adam Pally, I really didn't laugh much at all while watching this episode. There were a few clever moments where I might have let loose a chuckle or a chort, but most of the humor fell flat for me. And if you're not going to make your episode scary, then you'd better make it funny. I think more time should be put into the writing of this series, specifically tightening up the humor. Since the season has been delayed because of the pandemic, there is slash was time to do so, so there's really no excuse not to make the second season special. While I appreciate the effort made, the special effects, and some of the story twists that they thankfully left out of an already spoilerific trailer, compared to the Creepshow movie and the other episodes in this series, I wouldn't rank Shapeshifters Anonymous as one of the best. It's fun at times to see the wolfy effects and gore, but a relatively forgettable episode. That'll be it for today. Please chime in in the comments and let me know what you think of this video, how on the nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am, or you can counter with your own review. If you like this video, please pound that thumbs up button, share this video with your social media addicted pals. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on mlmillerwrites.com. Don't forget, I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look for. Grave Trancers is out right now, and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, will be out in November in only the finest of comic book stores. And be sure to subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for alerts to be the first to see my future videos. Thank you so much for your time, and take care. You're doomed to live the life you're meant to be.
stuck inside your reality. You're doomed. Oh, you're doomed. You're Yeah.